Give me four seconds. Hold strong, hold strong. Work in those abs, work what in those What can I do? Think about how good you're going to feel when you return your body to that proper alignment. Think about repercussions if you weren't going to do anything about it. And this problem just get worse every day. Here we are. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Then we're going to shake it out oh, for a so second. Much. We move to our back sides. Turning over to our backs. We're actually going to move into a crunch. But we're going to do it a little bit different maybe than you're used to. And this is going to do a couple things. One, we're going to make sure that we're not using our hip flexors at all. So when you have this interior pelvic tilt, so often your hip flexors end up taking over when it comes to ab exercises. We don't want that. So first move we're going to do is place your hands on your chest. We don't want it behind your head, cranking on your neck. Second move. Now see how I'm just sitting here like this in a, in a natural position. I have this arch on my back. We don't want that. When you have that, that's really what's going to cause your abs to stay relaxed and your hip flexors to work. So first thing we're going to do, put our hands on our chest. We're going to bring our chin up off the ground and drive our lower back into the ground. Now you should feel contact with your lower back on the ground. Ow. Here's the starting position. Now we're going to do a 3-3-3 three, three, three tempo I'm crunch. Gonna we're going to crunch up for a 3 count. Slow. One, two, three. Now we're going to hold for three seconds. One, two, Three. Now we're going to slowly return for three seconds. One, two, three. Again, keep that lower back on the ground. Now back up. One, two, three. Hold at the top for three seconds with your shoulder blades off the ground. Two, three. Back down. One, two, three. I'm going to allow you to work at your own speed on this one now, but you're going nice and slow. This one is not about performing a bunch of reps. But instead, it's all about forcing those abs to contract throughout the whole set. Not allowing those abs to be lazy and letting momentum of your hip flexors take over. But instead, really strengthening the, your core I'm and abdominal muscles. I'm if you're doing this one correctly, you are going to start to feel some major lactic acid burn in your abdominal muscles. And that's just letting you know you're doing it right. I think burn. I felt that burn on the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't take much on this no. one. No. Hey, that's how we know it's working. You know that lactic it's acid, that burn, that's just the fuel that our muscles use. It's just a, a byproduct of our muscles working. Uh -huh. You don't have to listen to that burn. It doesn't mean you don't have anything left. You have to learn to love that burn, learn to ignore that burn, and not listen to it when it kicks in. Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three, at yeah, each component of this move. Really contracting your abs on the way up, and then holding one, two, three at the top, and then slowly returning for one, two, three. Driving that lower back into the ground throughout the whole move. Now allowing your, your lower back to arch or come up. You might definitely have to go to your happy place on this one. That's it, it's burning, but that's all right. You got it, guys. Keep fighting through. Rest if you need to. Doing this one for 10 more seconds. I know that you got it. You're doing great. Keep um, pushing. I you don't know. good quick. you're going to feel when this routine is over Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice. Whoa. All right, come on up. Can I feel that one in the morning? <laughs> yeah, so I feel that one right now. Okay, we're going to move into a side plank position, another great ab exercise that does not allow our hip flexors to take over. I'm going to do this one from on my feet. And I'm going to do this on my knees. So I'm going to leave my bottom leg or my left leg on the ground here. And we're going to come up to a side plank position. Make sure to keep that opposite arm underneath us. Our weight is evenly distributed on our forearm. We're trying our best to keep our core tight, back straight, nice straight line here. And we're just holding. That's the whole move. This one really focuses on those obliques, and yeah, just your overall core as well. And you might even feel it in your glutes. Totally, especially glutes after the bottom. Moves. Yep. Especially our belly moves that we did today. Yes, that's exactly where I feel it now. Yeah, <laughs> feeling it a little bit everywhere. That's all right. I know it's working. Just hold. If you need 
need to go to your happy place on this mm -hmm. one. Yeah, and think about why you're here, why you clicked on this video to begin with. Whatever it is, whatever brought you here is going to be that same thing that gets you through to the end. We don't have much left. Just stay tough with us. We're going to switch sides in five, four, three, two, one. We'll slowly come down. And over the opposite side now. And here we are, last move right here. You made it this far. Let's finish strong. We're up. Core is tight. Back is straight. Abs are tight. And it's working. Making sure to breathe. Like Do this. not hold your breath on this one. And again, think about what brought you here today to begin with. What's your why? Just focus on it. Focus how good you're going to feel about yourself and you realign your, your pelvis. Just taking care of you. Okay, taking care of you. There you go. No more pain associated with this. So often it uh, anterior pelvic tilt can come with lower back pain, hip flexor pain, <coughs> pain in general. But not a way to live. Come back, repeat this routine four to five times per week, and it will get better. You guys are doing great. Let's keep this one. Last 10 seconds right here. Stay strong. That's it. That's it. Almost, Almost there. there. Five, <coughs> four, three, two, one. Zero, slowly come down, and that's it. <sighs> you made it, guys. Nice job. Nice work, Claudia. Nice work, Coach. A nice work out there. High five. Thank you so much for joining us and working through today with us.